Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. Today I have another Bobbi Boss wig for you and you have seen this one on a few people um, but you haven't seen it on me and you may not have even seen this color. So I'm going to pull this thing out and show you this wig. Let me just take this. Uh, there is more. You know what? When they pack these wigs, they just put so much stuff in them. It's like, you know, unless you take it all off before you even start talking, I guess you're kind of stuck. Okay, so here it is. This is Natalia. Yeah, you guys have heard of her. And most of you have probably seen her in a 1B or something like that. Um, some of you saw Wheezy Wig reviews in it, and she had a, I think she had the, uh, I don't know. Did she have autumn frost or whatever it is? It was kind of a reddish color that she had. She had on, um, but I don't have anything like that. <laughs> Let me just show you what I do have. <laughs> okay, this is mine. <laughs> Look at that. This and it's interesting. This color. Let me just move my mirror. This color is like um, well, what the color is called is TFLW Umber and I'm not really sure what that means but this wig looks like it has like white or gray hair in it black hair and brown believe it or not there's brown in the back it's brown in the back like a two and the front some of the front of it is is like a 1B it's very interesting color I think the big thing that people have been raving about with this wig is the hairline now the hairline is really nice um it could probably still stand some plucking because it's kind of straight across but uh it's still nice it's still nice and i'm probably not going to pluck it i'll probably just leave it the way it is uh yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on a cap and i have my own baby hairs out so i may have to kind of push those back to accomplish this because I'm probably not going to use any baby hairs on this wig and I don't think anybody has so far. So anyway, I'm going to put my cap on and yeah, yeah, I may push mine back. I may not because I mean, this, this is my own hair, right? So there you go. So first let's put her on and see what she looks like. She's got an adjustable band. You probably heard other people talking about that and I've adjusted her on uh, tight already so I'm gonna go ahead and put her on and I don't have on a wig grip with her so okay so the hairline we're not gonna talk about the color right now the hairline on this wig is fine for me look you can just see see the hairline on this wig is fine for me it looks natural I don't have to do anything to it. Um, once I cut the lace off, it's not going to look ashy, I don't believe, for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But um, I think what everybody really loves about this wig is just the style of it. You know, you can flip it over, and you know I'm a big flip over person. Um, you can kind of do what you want to do with it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's one of those. So yeah, reminds me of... Um, Friday Night Hair. I had a Friday Night Hair wig that was similar to this. It was GLS 148, I believe, if you guys are familiar with Friday Night Hair. And that wig was fabulous. And you could kind of do this kind of stuff with it. And it was about this length, too. I think the, the only other person I can remember who reviewed that wig besides me was uh, XOXO Shibo. And that was a long time ago. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to take this lace off. And yeah, let me just pull this off here. And I'm going to take this lace off. And yeah, so I'm not going to go away. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off and talk to you guys. Natalia has been um, a big deal wig. Everybody's been talking about her. And uh, I'm just cutting it. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just cutting this lace off. Natalia has been a big wig for a lot of people because, uh, like I said again, the versatility of her, that people really like her. I saw... Um, who was it I saw the other day that did this? Oh, it's is that your hair? Yeah, is that your hair did this wig? And I think hers was in a 1B or something like that. Yeah, and she didn't lay it down. Not, and honestly, I don't know that I'm going to either. I actually brought some stuff out to lay it down. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut this lace off. And yeah, this hairline really does look good. 
Uh, and again, because of the fact that I'm fair skin, this lace is not going to look bad on me. So if you happen to be fair skin, then you probably won't have to worry about tinting this either or doing anything to it for that matter because uh, I certainly don't intend to if I don't have to. You know me. <laughs> Girlfriend is L-A-Z-Y in a lot of cases. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Almost done. I still can't get over this hair. Look at that. It's brown and gray and then dark. It's very strange. Because underneath here, you can see it's a lot lighter brown than, uh, so you know what it reminds me of? I got a wig from um, Vanessa Hair a long time ago, and it was called Cappuccino, and it was like that, this color, kind of like this color. So yeah. All right, let me pull her down again. Again, no wig grip. Let me pull her up to my hairline. Yeah, and I think just like is that your hair said, it's really not necessary to even glue this down. Yeah, this looks like it's coming out of my scalp. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out of my scalp. Look, look at that. Yeah, looks like it's coming out of my scalp. But this style, <laughs> I'm telling you ladies, this style, I mean the color, I'm not as crazy about this color mix to be honest, but I kind of do like the fact that it's got gray in it. And when I asked Bobby Boss for some wigs, I did tell them when they asked me what I wanted, that I wanted more gray. So uh, yeah, this one, um, if you, now see there's a little piece right here that could probably be laid down so that you can, um, you know, put it behind your ear. I've got a little bit of this uh, Wonder Lace Bond, even Wonder Lace Bond, but this is the kind that's like, uh, this is the, the heavy, the hot and heavy stuff. This is the kind of stuff that you want to put on your ear tabs. So I'm just going to put a little bit here on my, um, on this ear tab if I can get it to come out of here because it looks like it's stuck. Yeah, it probably has to put a, I'll probably have to put a hole in here. It looks like it's stuck. Yeah. Okay, back up. <laughs> I'm just going to spray a little bit of this here. And see if this will lay itself down so I don't have to get any, um, put any heat on it or any, um, uh, get a blow dryer out. But yeah, this wig is gorgeous. And actually, if I had a choice of another color, I would probably want to see what it looks like in this Autumn Frost, A-U-T-F-R. I'm assuming it's Autumn Frost. Uh, yeah. So let me see if I can get this laid down. I'm going to be right back. I put my foundation on it and I put some, as you can see, I've been putting some powder on it. and. It looks better, but I think it still looks a little ashy. Um, I don't know if they make even in a light enough color for me to be able to benefit from it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to look a little bit more natural than it did. It did look a little ashy, but I glued it down. And so I wanted you guys to see it glued down because, you know, I was going to put my fingers all through it. So. Um, Okay, so my rating for this wig, this is a nine and a half. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the fact that um, the color is not exactly what I would like. I think the color looks good, but it's not exactly what I would like, and that's why I didn't rate it a 10. But I think this wig is perfect for my age group. I think it looks great on just about everybody that I've seen it on. Um, yeah, when I asked Bobby Boss for this wig, I just told them to send me whatever color they had, <laughs> and that's what they did. And I'm not mad at the color, I really am not. And everyone that I've seen in this wig, even if it's, uh, if it was a younger woman, she still looks good in it. So it doesn't like make you look matronly. Um, I've heard some younger women say that about other wigs, but this one, I've not heard any of them say that. And let me show you what it looks like in the back. 
This is the back. It's a nice length. It's definitely great for our age group. Um, yeah, it's versatile because it's a 13 by 7. So you can part it however you want. I wanted to put it behind my ear. Um, and this color, I think I showed you in the beginning, it's like a gray and a brown and a black. So it's not like just a, you know, it's not just a black and a gray. But uh, I really like it. And like I said, I'm trying to get the color together in the front. Uh, my foundation I put on there, my powder, to make it look more natural. Um, but yeah, this I love. And I would wear this out. I really would. I would wear this out. Um, yeah, this wig reminds me a lot of Harina, which is another Bobby Boss wig that I, I reviewed um, a couple of months ago. And I totally love that wig. Um, I love this one too, but I think I'm going to get it in a different color. Um, I think I want this autumn looking color. I saw Wheezy Wig Reviews, I think, in this one, the kind of orangish looking one. And then I believe that um, Is That Your Hair had like a 1B or something like that. But yeah, uh, everybody's really loving this wig. It's popular and um, for good reason. And it's not as silky as I thought it was going to be. It really isn't silky. It's not necessarily a light yakky, but it's kind of in between light yakky and silky. Um, the head size, as I told you guys uh, earlier, it's, it's a little tight um, without, um, you know, with the strap on it. No, actually, with the strap, it's it fits. So it's not like tight. I guess it depends on how, how you tighten this strap. I think I tightened mine all the way. So it's feeling snug, but it's not hurting. Um, so I guess you can just adjust that, but it's not um, it's not a really it's not a tight wig because I have had some Bobby Boss wigs that were tight. This one isn't. Uh, I just adjusted the strap a little tighter. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say it was big head friendly, but I'm not going to say that it's not for a medium sized head. And you guys know I have a 22 inch head. Um, I'm loving this. I love the um, swoop bang on it. I love the fact that the curls stay in it because I've had this wig on like for a while today. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I really like this. I do. This is beautiful. And I'm going to get another one. Um, I wish they had sent me more than one. But <laughs> you know, I can't be greedy. But I do appreciate Bobby Boss sending me this wig. And I love it. And if you guys are interested in it, I'll put the information down in the description section for you. Um, you know, I'm glad that they made this because this is, uh, this is great. This is a great work wig. This is a great wig to go out to dinner. This is just a nice wig, especially for our age group. This is definitely an over 40, over 50, over 60 wig. But if you are younger than that and you are rocking this wig, hey, I ain't mad at you. Because like I said, I've seen some younger women in this wig and I thought they looked gorgeous. But yeah, I, I wanted my own sideburns out so that I could put this over my ear. And uh, yeah, so I glued it down so it wasn't going anywhere um, because I was putting my fingers in it. <laughs> And that's what you're going to do if you get this wig as well. So just be aware. Um, it's beautiful. And I really thank Bobby Boss for sending me this. And I also thank you guys for watching. Um, because I've been putting up videos like every other day. <laughs> trying to catch up basically. I'm just trying to catch up. But um, I've got a couple other things coming. Uh, you'll see my uh, try on haul Sunday. Today, Saturday. You'll see my try on haul Sunday. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscri subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And ladies, as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.